Richard, every year in the UK there are about 48,000 new cases of breast cancer and about one in four of those women will have a mastectomy. Now why is that figure so high? Because as I understood it, uh, treatment was now so successful that generally speaking the breasts would be safe. I think you're absolutely right, um, Gordon, that um, there is a lot of breast cancer around. You mentioned 48,000 women a year diagnosed which is a huge statistic. The majority of women do have what we call breast conservation surgery where we, we, we do keep the, the breast tissue and just remove the, the tumour itself. But there are a, a number of ladies, for various reasons, that do need a mastectomy. Um, it, it can be because simply the patient does not want um, a, a a, a, a tumour removing and leaving the rest of the breast tissue there, they don't want to live with that uncertainty that it may come back. Um, and you're having to go through the whole process again of, of having the breast off at, at a second operation. So it, it's, it's almost a fear factor um, why, they, why they don't opt for um, lumpectomies, um, as we say. Now, there are other reasons that relate to the tumour biology itself. It may be that it's quite an aggressive tumour. Um, it may be that there are more than one to more than one tumour in the breast, which necessitates the surgeon to advise a mastectomy again for safety reasons, to prevent it coming back. Prevent, you know, so we can improve local control. Well, of the twelve thousand women who do have a mastectomy, only twenty-one percent, which is a, just over one in five, actually have breast reconstruction. Why so few? Yeah, that is an in, an, again an interesting statistic, and you'd think actually that more than one in five women would would opt for breast reconstruction. And actually, it is quite a difficult um, thing to get to get to the bottom of. I mean, we know from the National Mastectomy Audit that um, you know that varies enormously from one or two percent in some units to as high as forty to fifty percent, for argument's sake, at UHSM here, where we do a lot of reconstruction. Again. One of the big things that comes out of the reconstruction audit is patient choice. They, they, they don't want to go down that route of having potentially complicated surgery with, with added complications. Um, again, other reasons may be that the tumour is quite aggressive and the surgeon would advise against having the reconstruction because it may delay their chemotherapy, radiotherapy, etc. And actually, it's not widely available. In, in every unit in, in the country. Um, there are you know, the big units that do have reconstruction on site, but it may be that women are, uh, have to go further afield to have breast reconstruction. And you know, they may not like that. They, they may not like traveling and, and, the, and the family you know, equally. Um, they may not like traveling for, for weeks on end back and forth to, to hospital. Well, just explain to us now, if you would, in a way that's not too complicated, uh, just how a breast reconstruction operation goes. Well, you have um, a fairly lengthy discussion with with the, your surgeon and with the breast care nurse, um, and there are three main types of breast reconstruction. The most simplest re breast reconstruction involves making a mound on the chest with an implant, and we call that implant-based reconstruction, and they are of si the silicone type implants that we use. Um, that's the simplest form, it's usually the quickest method um, and it's probably the most popular method in the UK at the moment. Then you get onto more complicated types of reconstruction um, and that involves taking your own tissue, for example a latissimus dorsi flap, from your back which involves taking skin and muscle and rotating it round into the space that you've created when you've done the mastectomy. And that's, that's what we call the, the LD flap. Um, and then there's a third method, um, which we call a free perforator flap, which um, involves taking your abdominal tissue, that skin and fat from your abdomen, and most of us do have an apron there to, that we can use as reconstruction, some more than others, but it, it's very, very, very useful tissue, and we can literally remove it and, and fill the hole that, that we've created by doing the mastectomy. 
Um, so those are the three basic methods. Now in our next clip, we are going to look in a little bit more detail about each of those choices with Richard and how to go about making the right choice for the operation to have.